Joining me now, Washington Times opinion editor Charlie Hurt, co-host of the Fox News specialist Ebony Williams. Thank you both. Ebony, let's start with the, this blockbuster today with the Supreme Court. Uh, Ebony, uh, an attorney, I, I want you to weigh on this one because this has been one that's been hanging over the head of this president uh, from almost the moment he walked into the, the White House. Certainly, Lou. And look, going back to one of the premier banner things that the president campaigned on is this issue of immigration and this travel ban is kind of connected to that. And this is certainly going to be something very positive for the president and his base. And it's not even political, at least for me, Lou. Legally speaking, constitutionally speaking, the benchmark for the broadness of the presidential's ability to have authority on this issue uh, is really not very much in question. Yeah, except by a, a few uh, district court uh, judges oh. and, of course, the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals and the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. Charlie, your take? Well, you know, it's just proof that uh, we, we should have more Ebony Williamses on the uh, <laughs> on, on these courts Amen, than, than, than Amen. federal judges. Uh, I, I thought, <clears throat> obviously, it's a, it's a huge victory uh, for the president, uh, both politically and legally. But uh, even more more than anything else. It's just such a stunning rebuke of those, those very courts that you just right. mentioned. Mm -hmm. You had an absolute, uh, uh, you know, unanimous decision by the Supreme Court. You know, there, there may have been differences among the, the justices. We don't know because it was a little bit, uh, you know, there was a lot left unsaid by the court. But what was a unanimous decision was that the president does have the right to, to uh, determine who comes into this country and who doesn't come into this country. And that, that whatever he says on the campaign trail is not... Legally binding, and that's a pretty, that's a pretty, that's a pretty st uh, stunning rebuke. You know, I asked Randy Evans uh, this question: Does does President Trump get the apology from the Dems uh, for? Uh, <laughs> Hold your the, breath, Lou. Hold your breath. And, and, and <laughs> I, I think it's a legitimate question because, first, there is. I, I think it's on a, it's unquestionable that he's uh, owed one, mm. uh, but. Really, when you start with that one, then you go there, you realize there are two or three more, and then there are a few more. Let's start with first uh, the nonsense from the dim judiciary uh, in which they blocked the travel ban. Now we find out President Obama refused to react to the Russians' intervention uh, against the uh, DNC itself. I, I mean, the apologies are, I mean, that's a huge, huge bank of debt uh, they <laughs> owe the president. Well, they're not going to come, Lou. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. <laughs> no, you mean they really won't? <laughs> no, they will not come. But look, this movement to resistance, uh, of all things, President Trump is very serious. Now, I've been on record to say I think it will cost the Dems uh, greatly around some of the things that they are looking to push forward legislatively. They'll lose more in the House. They'll yeah. lose more in the Senate. But here's, here's the truth. I think when it comes to Obama and his uh, not moving forward about the Russian interference, he will stand strong in the fact that he did that to protect Hillary Clinton. I, I have mixed feelings he about that. protected Hillary Clinton. That's what he said. His job is to protect the, the nation. American people. I agree. I agree, particularly as someone who voted for him. But that was his take. Let me make a note of that. You know, I know, I know, I know, Lou. I know. But listen, when it comes to this issue of the travel ban, though, they're not going to apologize, but they don't really need to. The president, look, and I took no, I'm just having fun the, with it, just know, like the president. The, is. Some of the things that the but president said. But it's outrageous said, the way their conduct. Sure, the president didn't help himself though, Lou, with the rhetoric on the campaign trail. But lucky for the president, lucky for his supporters, he doesn't need that. What he needs is the courts to do their job, and that's what we see the Supreme Court at least doing: being apolitical, putting the Constitution first. What do you think, Charlie? I mean, is, is it time to hold the Democrats and President Obama accountable for the farce that was his administration? Well, I mean, unfortunately, I think that there many of us have been trying to do that for years. Uh, the media just absolutely ignores it, and uh, and so it, you know it, it, it you know it just doesn't happen. But I agree with Ebony that we will never see an apology out of any of these people. But I do think uh, that it is possible that we start to see a, a, a slight change in behavior uh, because I think that the Democrats are going to start realizing that this stuff is hurting them. They've gone way overboard with the Russia stuff. Uh, and, Adam and, and Schiff, you've got to admit, Adam Schiff calling for an investigation of Loretta <laughs> Lynch, uh, talking about Diane Feinstein uh, as well. This, I mean, this is this is big stuff when Diane Feinstein, as you say, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the two two senior Democrats 
are calling as tragic for an investigation as that is, of the As tragic party. as that is, by the way, Lou, the fact that Adam Schiff and Dianne Feinstein are, are the leaders of a Democratic Party. And the reason I say it's tragic, Lou, because they're not going to push the envelope forward. They're not going to be a voice of anything that's going to be compelling to voters. Well, they got, they got nothing to say but guilty. I, I mean, the Democratic Party, it, they're, you know, they used to say forward. Well, they can back, say... That's what you call hashtag backwards, Lou you, Dobbs. You got the I last mean, word here, Charlie. <laughs> well, I, 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 do, I do agree that it, it's pretty stunning that, that we're now talking about an investigation into Loretta Lynch, but it's a long time coming. It should have happened uh, even before we found out the, the latest uh, round of uh, yeah. scandalous things.